Then here we are today, February 7th, and we're looking at the Bible in 366 days for men, women, boys, and girls. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 11 to 20, from the New Living Translation. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11 to 20. The command I am giving you today is not too difficult for you to understand, and it is not beyond your reach. It is not kept in heaven so distant that you must ask, who will go up to heaven and bring it down so that we can hear it and obey. It is not kept beyond the sea so far away that you must ask, who will cross the sea to bring it to us so we can hear it and obey. No, the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart so that you can obey. Now listen, today I am giving you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. For I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to keep his commands, decrees and regulations by walking in his ways. If you do this, you will live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you and the land you are about to enter and occupy. But if you your heart turns away and you refuse to listen and if you are drawn away to serve and worship other gods then i warn you now that you will certainly be destroyed you will not live a long good life in the land you are crossing the jordan to occupy today i have given you the choice between life and death between blessings and curses now i call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make oh that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying Him, and committing yourself firmly to Him. Angus Bushan says, God gives us many choices. He also allows us to make our own choices and gives us the necessary guidance to make the right ones. Choose life today by committing your life to God and by living and obeying him. I, I don't want to say much. This is so straightforward. So straightforward. The same thing coming again. You must obey God. If you if you want to enjoy the blessings of life, he put it here. Is that a blessing or cursing? Is that a life or death? Literally, because some of the choices that we make carry us close closer to our physical death. Some we make spare our lives. There's no disputing. So I simply echo the words in a New Living Translation. Verse 19 and 20. And that's how I close it out. Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying him, and committing yourself firmly to him. May God be with you and with me as we travel this journey. Blessings.